Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we are going to be looking at Google Forms and how you can create a Google Form that allows users to submit files so that you have access to those files that they've submitted through that form. Now, the first thing we'll have to do is open up our Google Drive. Now, I'm in my Google Drive. I'm going to create a new Google Form. So let's start by clicking on New and then we select Google Forms. Now, allowing your users to submit files can be incredibly useful, especially at the start of an academic year. This could be for their student IDs. Maybe you need a photo. Maybe you want them to reflect on the past holiday and you want them to submit some photographs of their holidays, of what they've done so that you can discuss it in class. Well, using this technique, you can have them submit it within a Google form. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to give our form a title or a file name. So we're going to title this My Holiday. Now before we can have our students submit files through a form, we're going to have to select that question type. So we're going to now click on this drop down menu here and select File Upload. Once you've selected File Upload, you get a little notification that your students will have to sign in, otherwise they can't upload files. So we're going to click on Continue. This is getting prepared. It's creating a folder on your Google Drive where those files will be submitted to and you can now add a question. So let's go ahead and add our question. We're going to ask them to share a photo or an image that really sums up their experience this holiday. Now this could be anything, could be as creative as they want it to be. If they did a lot of painting, then maybe they're uploading a picture of a paintbrush. Maybe they finished an entire series of novels, well they can upload the front cover of that book. So this will allow them to do just that. Now in addition to asking a question, we can also specify the file type that we would like them to upload. So here I'm going to tick allow only specific file types. There we go. And we can allow them to upload a drawing or an image. Now we don't want them to upload documents or spreadsheets or video. This could be allowed if we want it, but for now we're going to leave it as it is. We can also specify a maximum number of files. I'm going to set this to one because I did ask them to upload a single photo or image but you could easily set this to a much higher number, five or 10, and they can submit up to 10 files to you. And then we have a maximum file size. I'm going to set this to a much higher number because 10 megabytes, most pictures, even those taken with your phone now are much larger files. So I'm going to cap it at 100 megabytes. I don't think anyone will need 100 megabytes, but I don't want them to get stopped when their image is a little bit over 10 megabytes. This is now ready to be rolled out. We're going to make this a required question and you will see I can always click on this icon here to open up that folder in my Google Drive. This is where the files will be sent to. As you can see, it is under My Drive, My Holiday, which is the title of that form, File Responses, and then there is that first question. You can have multiple questions with multiple file uploads and they will each be sent to their own folder. So let's go back to our forms. We're now going to preview this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that preview. This will give me a preview of what this will look like, my holiday, and then share a photo or image. When they click on this add file, they can upload a file from their device, use their My Drive, or they can even select a previously selected image. Now let's say that you're ready with this form, you're ready to share it with your students, you can click on send, and then here you get the option to either send it to their email to get a special link and you can shorten that URL, or you can embed the form onto a platform that allows embed code. That also includes Google Sites. Now I hope you found this helpful. This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In the meantime, let us know in that comment section below, what are some of your favorite use cases for Google Forms? What would be your tips and tricks for Google Forms? And what would you like to see next? In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.